Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cyber Hashira. In today's video, I will be talking about OpenSSL engines. I talked about engines in the first video that I made on OpenSSL. Uh, because it was just an introduction video, I didn't uh, talk much about it. So in this video, I will explain what OpenSSL engines are and how to use them. Let's begin. Engine is a thing that is designed to make a thing move or work. For example, an engine of a car makes it move. An engine of a power plant produces electricity. Similarly, Engine in OpenSSL executes crypto operations. Let me first explain how OpenSSL processes a cryptographic operation. OpenSSL has a built-in implementation for all cryptographic operation. By default, all cryptographic operations are processed by that built-in engine in OpenSSL. So when I pass a request to sign some data or maybe to generate a key, those requests are processed by OpenSSL itself. However, if I want those crypto operations to be performed by something other than OpenSSL, then I could make use of engines. OpenSSL engines allows a user to use a custom implementation of a cryptographic operation. When a custom engine is loaded by OpenSSL, it would execute all crypto operations using that engine instead of using its own built-in engine. For example, Normally, when I generate a private key using OpenSSL gen RSA command, that private key is generated by OpenSSL in software. Now, if I want to generate those keys inside a hardware security module, then I could make use of an engine. I believe all HSM vendors provide their own implementation for OpenSSL engine that works with their HSM. Uh, if not, then there are some other alternatives such as OpenSE. Now these engines can be used to redirect all crypto operations to a hardware security module. An OpenSSL engine uh, isn't necessarily always meant to be used with a hardware security module. You can use it with a smart card or a USB token as well. For this video, I will be using an engine called GEM that works with uh, Luna HSM. I will also make use of a free open source engine from OpenSE. I'll start by showing you how to install PKCS11 engine from OpenSE. There are some prerequisites which you need to install. I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 operating system and I had to install libssl dev pkgconf and gnu tls bin packages. So first I need to download the libp11 package and for that I would uh, head over to this site. So this is github.com openSC libp11 releases. I will put this link in the description. So if you scroll down, these are the, uh, the tar packages or the zip, uh, zip file that you can download from here. You, I'll just like right click on it, copy link address. And here I'll do wget, paste the link, hit enter. And the package is downloaded. And now I'm going to untar that package that I downloaded. So tar xf and this is the package. Okay, so this is the package that I've extracted. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'll run the command configure. So this is going to configure the make file. Okay, make file has been configured. Now I'll run the command make. So this is building the actual uh, lib pkcs11 binary. All right, and now I will do sudo make install. And this has installed the binary. And now if I run the command openSSL engine pkcs11, I see this output, which means uh, the lib pkcs11 engine has now been installed. I'll clear the screen and get out of this package. I already have a Luna Cloud HSM configured on this machine and I have already generated an RSA uh, key pair. So if I run the command uh, CMU list. So again, CMU list is a uh, it's a utility that comes with uh, the Luna Cloud HSM. So I use this utility to get the list of all keys uh, that are stored in 
uh, in my cloud HSM. So it's asking for the password. All right, so this is the private key and this is the public key. To use my RSA private key, which is stored in the Luna Cloud HSM, the first thing I need to do is I need to uh, generate a URL using a P11 tool. So the command is going to be P11 tool dash dash list all dash dash provider. And this is going to be the path for my, uh, uh, hold on. So this is the path for my, uh, the library that talks to the uh, Luna HSM. And I'm going to do login. All right, it's asking for the password. And it displays the objects that are stored in my Luna Cloud HSM. So this is my private key and this is my public key. Now, in order to sign, this is a URL that I need to pass with the OpenSSL command. I'll leave the screen as it is and I'll show you how to do that. But before we do that, there's a second thing that you need to do, and that is to create a configuration file. I already have this configuration file here. I'll run the command cat engine.conf. So this is my configuration file. It has information about uh, the libraries to use. So a dynamic path is the path where the PKCS11 engine or the PKCS11 library that we just uh, installed exists. And module path contains the path where my HSM library exists. So user local dpod libs64 libcryptokey2.so is the library that talks to my Luna Cloud HSM. And pin, this is uh, a password that is used to authenticate with the Cloud HSM. Okay. Um, I think I'll leave the screen as it is instead of clearing it because I need, uh, I need this. So anyways, let me execute the next command. So the command that I'm going to run is I'll run the command openSSL conf. So this is uh, an environment variable. And in this environment variable, I'll mention the name of the configuration file. And immediately after that, I will pass the openSSL command. So openSSL DGST dash engine. Engine, the name of engine is PKCS11. Key form is going to be engine dash. I want to sign and I want to sign using my private key. And this is the URL of that private key. So I'll just copy it from here and inside double quotes, paste it here, close the double quotes and then, um, okay. So SHA-256 is going to be the digest algorithm. I want to output the signature in jackangel.txt.sic and the file that I want to sign is jackangel.txt. Hit enter. All right, signing has completed. Well, it, it shows an, a segmentation fault here. Um, I'm not really sure why this is happening. It just like started happening recently and I don't know why. However, I do have my file here that contains the signature. So if I run the command xxd jackangel.sig, sorry, xxd-p, here's a signature in hex. And if I need to verify the signature, I would uh, bring the previous command and make some changes to it. So this is going to be signature. Okay, and obviously the label is going to be up and I think everything else remains the same. This is going to be verify and yeah, that's it. I'm going to hit enter and it says verified. Okay, obviously I'm getting segmentation fault, but uh, that's because of uh, something weird which is going on in my operating system here so don't worry about it the point is the signature has been verified so in the demo that i just showed you openssl is making use of uh, libpkcs11 engine from openSC. so instead of using its own built-in crypto engine openssl is redirecting all those uh, crypto requests to pkcs11 engine and then PKCS11 engine is redirecting those requests to my Luna Cloud HSM. 
And that's how OpenSSL engines work. I also have another engine configured on this uh, uh, on this machine, and that engine is known as OpenSSL Engine Gem. Now, Gem Engine is an engine that works with uh, Luna uh, Edge Sims. It does not matter if it's a USB HSM or Network HSM or Cloud HSM. It just works with all kinds of uh, Luna HSMs. I'm going to show you how to use this now. So I'll clear the screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to generate uh, uh, an RSA private key using OpenSSL in such a way that the keys will be generated in the Luna Cloud HSM. Let me first show you what I already have in my Luna Cloud HSM. So I'll run the command CMU list. All right, it's asking for the password and I'll enter my password. All right, so at the moment, I already have or only have uh, two keys. There's an RSA private key and a public key. Now I'm going to generate a new key pair. All I need to do is uh, I will run the command OpenSSL Gen RSA, and I'm going to specify the engine, which is gem and dash out. I'll name it rsa.pri and I'll hit enter. All right, it's asking for the password. So user pin co is my password. I'll hit enter. All right, so the command has completed. The key has been generated along with an annoying uh, segmentation fault, which I have no idea why this is happening. However, if I do CMU list again, I should see two new objects. So I'll enter my password now. All right, so these are the two uh, new uh, uh, keys that are created. So this is the private key and the public key that, gen uh, that got generated uh, with the help of this command. Now, I also try to output something into rsa.pri file. Don't worry about it. This is not a private key. Although if I try to do cat rsa.pri, it's going to say that it's an rsa private key, but actually it's just a, a reference file. So it's kind of like a, a reference data which is used by gem engine to uh, to find the rsa private key that's what this uh, file is all about all right i'm going to make use of uh, this reference file to sign some data using the key that is uh, stored in my luna cloud hsm so i'll clear the screen for this to sign some data using gem engine i would run the command OpenSSL dgst dash engine i'll mention the name of the engine which is called gem dash key form or the key format is going to be engine i want to sign using rsa.pri uh, remember rsa.pri is just a reference file which is used by gem engine to find the private key which is stored in the luna cloud hsm sha256 is going to be the hashing algorithm that i want to use I want to output the signature in jackandjail.txt.seg. Um, you know what? I'll just make it seg2. And the file that I want to sign is jackandjail.txt. Right. And jackandjail.txt has got signed. If I do ls, here's the signature. That's all I have for you in this video. Today we have learned what OpenSSL engines are. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please use the comment section if you have any questions. I'll be um, happy to answer them. And uh, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, then please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye bye.